Hi, Mr. Unkert here, and in this video, I'm reviewing a problem from Khan Academy's Using the Trig Angle Addition Identities assignment. So in this particular problem, we want to find the sine of 2 times the angle BAC. Okay, so to figure out which identity I'm going to use, I'm going to go to MrUnkert.com, and I'm going to go up to the menu and click Trig Identity. And then I come to this page, and this is a work in progress. I'm continuing to add as I go. It's not an all exhaustive list. Um, and I look down here, but I see sine of two times this angle A equals two times sine of the angle A times cosine of the angle A. So I'm going to use that identity. Now you can also find these just by Googling uh, trig angle addition identities online as well. Um, so that's another way to get it. Okay, so let's rewrite this a little bit. So this here, is going to be equal to 2 times the sine of angle BAC times the cosine of angle BAC. Okay. So let's take a look at this angle BAC. BAC, so it's really this angle here. Okay. Um, so the sine of BAC is going to be the opposite side. So 3 over the hypotenuse square root of 10 Okay, and we're going to multiply that by 2 and then we're going to multiply um, by the cosine of angle BAC. So cosine is going to be 1 over the square root of 10. So 1 over the square root of 10. So if we multiply this out, 2 times 3 is 6. 6 times 1 is so 6. And the denominator, really, uh, 2 is the same as 2 over 1. So 1 times the square root of 10 is the square root of 10. The square root of 10 times the square root of 10 is just plain 10, which is equal to 3 fifths. If you want to put it in as a fraction, or 0 0.6, if you want to put it in as a decimal. I'm going to put it in as a fraction and look at that. Got some energy points. Uh, if you have any questions, leave comments in the comments below. Otherwise, thank you for watching this video and have a great day.